This is going to be a quick tutorial covering a script I made that all it does is make it so that you can import an image sequence into Spine without having to import each image individually and add each image into the timeline individually. So for Windows users, the first thing we'll have to do is install Python. Mac users don't have to worry about this. You have Python 2.7 installed by default or 2.5, I can't remember which, but it should work either way. For Windows users, you'll have to go to python.org forward slash downloads. And once you actually start doing the install, you'll get a dialog like this. So once you get this dialog, you have to make sure that you click add Python 3.5 to path. Otherwise, this, this tutorial won't work. All right, so there's a link in the description, and if you follow that, you'll be taken to this page. And uh, right here, you'll just hit download zip, save the zip, open the zip, and extract it to wherever you want. And inside of the zip is going to be the actual script itself right here, spine sequence uh, type Python. Um, these files you could ignore inside of this folder called spine sequence tutorial files uh, is where we're going to be working from. In this directory is where your spine files are going to actually be, your .spine and .json files. Uh, and inside of here, you're going to have all the images that we're going to be using for building the actual project. Okay, so let's run the script. To run the script, we're going to, you, there's other ways to do this, but to keep things simple, we're going to copy the script into the project folder that we want to use it in. To run it, we have to open up command prompt. On Mac, it's going to be terminal. For Windows users, we'll, we'll do a hold down shift and then right click, and there's going to be an option called open command window here. When you open it, um, you'll be inside of the project folder, the project root. Now uh, we have to uh, actually run the script, and to do that, for Mac users, you're going to do sudo python uh, spine sequence.py, and then all the options. Uh, but on PC, on Windows, uh, you don't have to do sudo. You probably don't have to do python, but just in case, we're going to do python spine sequence.py. And when you hit enter on that, it'll give you a quick rundown on what options you can uh, supply the script with. Uh, and if you want to get more information, you can do help and it gives descriptions on each of the options. Um, all right, so from what we're looking at here, it says uh, that we're, we, have, we have to have an output option supplied. So output, and it's going to be a JSON file. And again, we want to get all these images in there. So we're just going to call it fancy.json because that's the directory we're going to be importing. And we're going to also have to supply it with all the images that we're going to import, which is from, from our root project directory, images, and fancy. So uh, images, fancy, but you can't leave it there, you also have to tell it what to look for. So we could just do star here, but just to be safe, it's best to do star.png or dot whatever image format you're using. And then the last thing, we could leave it at that if you have a 30 frames per second image sequence, but in this case, uh, this is supposed to be a 15 frames per second uh, image sequence. So we're gonna do frame rate uh, and we're gonna set it to 15. And we run it it will spit out this fancy.json that wasn't there before, fancy.json's there now, and now we can bring it into Spine. All right, now that we're in Spine, you have to create a new project, and then save that new project into your project directory. And we'll just call it tutorial.spine, save that out, and we're going to import the JSON file by going through import data, browse to the JSON file that we created with the script, and press OK. 
something to note when you import a JSON file, you're going to get two skeletons. This is the old skeleton, and this is the new one. It's going to, the new skeleton is going to be named whatever the JSON file was named, minus .json. So we can, in most cases, you'll want to delete the old skeleton. There might be some cases where you don't. But uh, in this case, yeah, we want to delete it, so delete. Now when we go to animate, you can see, you get all the frames. It's animating at 15 frames per second, so you'll have gaps in between each frame because Spine does everything at 30 frames per second. With that in mind, when you're doing a loop, because of how Spine does loops, you can set loop start and loop end. But unfortunately, that doesn't get exported. Uh, when you export to a JSON file. So in, in your game engine, it's that's not going to actually do anything. It ends the loop by the last keyframe. And in our case, it's ending at 50, if, or 58, when really it should be ending at 59, because this frame needs to be displayed twice to go at 15 frames per second. So we'll just copy and paste that last frame, and now everything should be animating at the correct frame rate. Now we can save that out, and I'm just going to make a quick animation that uses regular keyframes, and then we're going to import another image sequence into that so, so that we can show if you have an existing spine project and uh, with animations and you want to import an image sequence, how that would work. It's almost the same, but there's some slight differences. So let me get started on that. All right, so I just did a quick, simple animation uh, that where the where just the fancy text just bobs up and down. Uh, I created a new bone called uh, fancy, and I parented the slot to that. So let's export it. When we export it to JSON, the JSON file is going to be called whatever the skeleton is named. So right now. Since we have a fancy JSON already out there, let's call it fancy underscore two dot JSON. Now when we do, uh, let's save this really quick. And now when we export, <coughs> with all the default settings are good, export it, it will create a fancy underscore two dot JSON. And now we just need to run the script off of that. All right, so when we run the script, it'll be Python, Spine. Actually, we can just press up arrow to get our old command. Change our output to, we're going to combine Fancy with Spinny, the Spinny image sequence. So we'll call it Fancy underscore and Spinny. JSON, and then we will import from the spinny directory, and we'll set the frame rate is still going to be the same. And the last thing we have to do is tell it what we want to merge it with. So we just we want to merge it with a fancy underscore two dot JSON. Oh, and uh, we have that that uh, argument is merge dash dash merge, and then fancy underscore two dot JSON. Um, so now when we press enter, it will export to fancy and spinny.json. There it is. Okay, now let's import fancy and spinny into spine. So we'll do import data fancy and spinny.json. When it comes in, it's a little bit small and it's in front of the fancy text. Oh, and we have the um, old skeleton in here still. So we delete that. Uh, and so, yeah, we want to scale this up. We're going to go to setup mode, create a new bone, set the name to spinny. Parent that, parent the slot to spinny, set the scale to 2.5, 2.5, oh, 
2.5 and now it's completely covering up the text but if we change the draw order so that a spinny is beneath fancy then it will look look all right um so now if we go to animate mode and we play it back everything works it looks horrible but it works uh if you have any problems, um, just make a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and thanks for watching.